What's up, guys? This is Creator on the Super Duty channel. Now, if you're watching this on my main Creator channel, you're going to want to check the link in the description below or in the annotation right up here at the top to open up a new window and subscribe to the new Super Duty channel. All new 6 liter and Super Duty videos are going to go there. It just uh, makes more sense, cleans up the channels a little bit. So make sure you subscribe to that channel. What are we doing today? We've got the brand new HHC Diesel Nipple Cup Socket tool here. We're going to do a full torque, maximum torque and destructive test on it. We're going to see if we can break it. See what it takes to break it and uh, how many foot pounds it takes to break it. But uh, this is pretty much the best tool on the market now. It is a fully hardened impact grade steel, black oxide coated. And check that out. We now have a half inch drive. You can still use it with a 23 millimeter socket if you so desire. But uh, now that you got a half inch, you might not want to use that. But we went ahead and left it the same shape to maintain that HHC diesel signature look. And it also does uh, add quite a bit of strength the way we set up the, uh, the torque uh, points there. So that's it. We wanted a tool that we could be proud of. We wanted a tool that uh, we could say you can use with an impact wrench. And we wanted a lifetime warranty. That's right. Lifetime warranty. Um, if you break it under normal operating conditions, we will exchange it. No questions asked. Um, you can even impact it if you want. Um, now, if you go using like some badass three-quarter inch, like super He-Man impact wrench and you break it, we might still warranty it anyways, but uh, make sure you wear the proper protection. Uh, <laughs> you know, that'll break any tool. Um uh, and we want to make sure you guys are safe. So make sure you use the proper safety precautions there. All right, so what do we got here? We got a three quarter inch torque adapter. This thing is accurate and calibrated up to a thousand foot pounds, okay? We're not gonna get up to a thousand foot pounds in some of the last tests I've done. Uh, we actually broke right here at the three quarter to half inch adapter that we're using. It broke right there at the shoulder before it broke the tool, all right? Um, last couple of tests I did, we got up around 500 foot pounds and uh, I actually couldn't put any more torque on it and it was about to break our uh, breaker bar here. So I'm going to try to get a better shot this time showing the entire breaker bar. Um, it was about to bend that breaker bar in half. So let's see if we can pull out here. Come up a little bit. Like so. Alright. Got a cheater bar. And a standard half inch breaker bar. That's the same thing you can rent or buy at uh, O'Reilly's or AutoZone. Uh, your basic half inch breaker bar. Go ahead and put that in the tool here. And turn this on. It's set to peak mode. So it'll automatically record our highest torque. Um, so even if you aren't watching, I'll come back and, and pull up the memory on it. Um, usually... Uh, you can get a good shot of the thing there. Come out a little bit more. Yeah, that's a good shot. All right. I'm going to be using the wall as leverage here. And see if we can do it without breaking the camera, breaking the tool, breaking something else. That's about as far as I can get without a, a bigger breaker bar. 490. Let's give it one more try. Let's see if I can use more leverage here. <sighs> yeah, I need a break, bigger breaker bar. 491. Well, point of the story is there's no way you're going to put 500 foot pounds on this thing in normal operating use. All right. <laughs> Pull up memory here. Memory 
That was my previous test, 488. Uh, I'll do another video with a bigger breaker bar, but basically there's there's no question about it. Lifetime warranty across the board. Uh, we're proud of our tool here. Let's go ahead and throw it on the impact and see how it does. Let me get a close up of it. Look at that, no burrs. All it did is wear down the black oxide a little bit. Perfect tool. Go ahead and tighten it down first and then uh, loosen it up. There we go, and there it is. The best tool you can get for replacing your nipple cup seals on a six liter diesel. I'll put links down in the description below and uh, up here in the annotations as well. Uh, you can get that on Amazon or eBay. Uh, really the best tool you can get for the money.